What's up, everybody? Marty Martin here. This is the Geek Nick Podcast. I am your host. So, Cinema Bland posted this right here, and I don't know if you guys knew about this in the past, but Gwen- Quinn Tarantino always expressed um, an interest in directing a Star Trek movie, which everybody kind of thought it was a joke. It was This was like, what, like a year, two years ago when he stated this, and... You know, some people are like, a Quint- Quint Tarantino doing Star- a Star Trek movie? And for those of you who don't know who Quint Tarantino is, Quint Tarantino is one of the greatest film directors alive and of all time, period. Uh, he's written and directed movies like Reservoir Dogs, Pulp Fiction, Jackie Brown, Kill Bill Volume 1 and 2, um, Inglorious Bastards... Django Unchained, The Hateful Eight, and now recently he just did um, a movie called Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, which is, next to The Joker, the movie that I am looking forward to the most seeing this year. I'm, ac- I act- I'm actually looking more forward to it than, um, uh, what is it, Star Wars Episode Nine: Rise of Skywalker. You know, it, it just looks awesome. If you haven't seen the trailer, check it out yourself. So, anyway, uh, it says, Quentin Tarantino confirms his potential Star Trek movie will be rated R. Well, I'm not surprised, it's Quentin Tarantino. And, again, people don't see the connection because Quentin Tarantino has never done a sci-fi movie. It's just not his thing, it's usually crime or um, something that involves a lot of violence and then exaggerated humor, of course. Um, So, is this one going to be just riddled with Guts, heads being chopped off, blood splattering everywhere, and constant f bombs. You know, who knows? That that's why people are a little concerned about it. Sci-fi meets Quentin Tarantino, specifically Star Trek. Ugh. Well, uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's continue. So it says, "Is it even a Quentin Quentin Tarantino movie without his stylized high violence and sharp language sprinkled throughout his dialogue?" Each one of the auteurs, auteur director's fil- films have certainly earned their R ratings. But what happens to this reputation if Tarantino ends up directing his pitch Star Trek movie? Here's what he says. Oh yeah, it's an R-rated movie. If I do it, it'll be rated R. It'll be R-rated. <laughs> if the Pulp Fiction director is involved, it's obviously going to include his famed aesthetic. This would be a first for the Star Trek franchise, which has stayed PG-13 in recent years. Previously, when William Shatner and the original series donned the big screen in the 80s, the films were actually consistently PG. Talk about boldly going where no man has gone before. (laughs) It says, um, amidst some roadblocks during Paramount's development of Star Trek IV that ultimately, ultimately led to it being shelved, Tarantino pitched out his own take on the property. It was reported that Revenant writer Mark L. Smith was on board to write the script. In Tarantino's recent interview with Empire via comicbook.com, he offered this update on the project. There's a script that exists for it now. I need to weigh in on it, but haven't been able to do that yet. Looks like Mark L. Smith has been working hard on the script for a Tarantino Star Trek movie. The director just needs to look it over. He's been busy working on his upcoming project, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, but once the film is released in late July, he has said he will shift his focus back over to Star Trek. As far as we know, Tarantino has not been hired by Paramount to helm the next Star Trek film, since the studio lost previous Star Trek IV director S.C. Clarkson, who left the project to work on the Game of Thrones prequel. Among other issues Paramount faced, they may be open to ideas. What kind of script Tarantino and Smith delivered to them will determine if the project becomes greenlit and the idea of a Tarantino of a Tarantino putting his own stamp on the franchise becomes a reality or not. It it is yet to be known if this script actually includes the cast of the most recent Star Trek series of, of films or an entirely new set of faces. Zachary Quinto, Carl Urban, and John Cho have been vocal about their interest in reprising their roles under Tarantino. However, their captain Chris Pine was part of the cancellation of Star Trek IV when him and Chris Hemsworth parted ways from the project due to contract disputes. Pine 
could potentially be swayed back into the project if he's intrigued by Tarantino's vision and the director is looking to bring his crew back. We'll likely have to wait until after Tarantino's release of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood on July 26 before another update about the Star Trek project comes. Be sure to stay tuned with us here on Cinema Blend. Okay. Sounds pretty cool. Sounds pretty interesting. Um, yeah, let's wait till Once Upon a Time in Hollywood comes out. Once after that is out, seems like Tarantino's going to uh, put all of his energy into getting the Star Trek movie getting made. So, I want to see that. I really want to do it. I, I, I think J.J. Abrams was great with Star Trek and Star Trek Into Darkness, but Star Trek Beyond, uh, that was done by... Can't remember the guy's name. He did uh, one of the Fast and Furious movies. Um, Justin Lin? Was it Justin Lin? I think it was Justin Lin. I think I can't quite remember, but um, I didn't really like it too much. Uh, Star Trek One and Two by J.J. Abrams and Star Trek Two: The Wrath of Khan, the one that came out in, the, in 1982. Those are the best Star Trek movies. Best ones. Period. But if Tarantino does it, come on, it's Tarantino. You can't go wrong with Tarantino. Tarantino has not made one bad movie. He hasn't. Even though he's only made eight and his ninth one is coming out uh, next month. So, and again, people who already saw this movie, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, are saying it's one of his best movies since Pulp Fiction. His best one since Pulp Fiction. So, um, you can't really go wrong with Tarantino. He, he, ha he does not have one bad movie. He has like one least popular movie and that's uh definitely i would definitely say jackie brown i think most people would agree with that but jackie brown is still a good movie it's still a good movie so yeah uh i'll definitely be on the lookout to hear more news about this so that's it for this episode everybody live long and prosper and may the force be with you